Welcome back to the Wet Mammal Channel, guys. Today we are spearfishing raw with the passion fruit coral trout. Yummy. We make our way on a decent drop down to this fella and line up a nice little shot. I saw this guy swimming around from the surface and was amazed that he decided to stay put until I got close enough. He tried making a move, but I was just like, nah, lights out. You're just going to sit and wait for me. Unfortunately, the spear got a bit stuck. I hadn't taken a proper breath hold on this dive, so I decided not to retrieve the spear and just go up. Now you can see that there's a number of sharks that make their way into the fish, so I strategically pull on the shooting line as to try and spook the sharks away from the fish. That's my fish. I have no idea what depth this fish is at, but I'd say it's deeper than about 3-4 meters. So I make my way up to the surface so I can breathe do a better breather and I just basically monitor the fish from the surface once I've got some air in me to make sure that the sharks stay off it. Up on the surface for a couple of minutes just get my breath back. I take a really good breath hold on this one ensuring that I'm going to have plenty of oxygen if the spear is really lodged and guide my way down the line as I descend. This is one of my favorite things about spearfishing with a reel. You can just, if you get stuck, pop your reel and let your gun float to the surface. Go and retrieve your fish when you've got plenty of oxygen in you. Happy days. You can see the trout's still moving around a fair bit and it's just got lodged with the flopper in this little hole. It's dead coral, just move it out the way. Secure the fish, I'm pretty happy. Now it's a bit of a swim to the surface, so I think, oh yeah, I'll just get the knife out and put this fish out of its misery in case we get any grey reef shark come through and just scare the thing out of my hands. So, icky the fish. Again, we do this because of, it's nice and humane just to kill the fish as soon as we possibly can. And it actually preserves meat quality. You don't want all that lactic acid building up in the flesh. It doesn't taste great. So the fish is now on his way up. You can see the colours of this coral trout really starting to come in. Amazing. Now we've got him on the surface. We can celebrate. It's a good fish. I'm stoked with this fella. Nice and fat. Going to rip his gills out. And again, that's just to prevent any blood getting logged up inside the fish and just you know, degrading the fish quality. It makes a massive difference and I find it just helps better preserve your catch as well so not just the flavour but the actual quality of the meat over the longer period of time. There's no fridges on the island that I'm staying at so I do what I do to try and preserve the quality of the fish. So there we have it, my first passion fruit coral trout. I'm absolutely stoked. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Subscribe and comment for more spearfishing raw videos. Stay tuned, we've got plenty of spearfishing coming over the next few weeks. Stay wet, stay fed people, catch ya.